is there such a thing as starvation mode? This idea that you you know you lose a, a lot of weight or you're losing weight really quickly and the the body kind of fights back by lowering your metabolic rate to kind of preserve body fat stores energy stores from a survival perspective yes but (laughs) because i think that's something that people are scared of right of of dieting or doing dieting frequently and are they going to negatively Mm -hmm. are they going to impair their metabolism they're going to slow it down okay the the simple answer is is yes that can happen but the nuance is the degree uh, the context in which that happens is pretty extreme. And so um, if I can paint a picture of total energy expenditure in the day, okay? So we've got resting energy expenditure and then we've got active energy expenditure. So we've got these, these two components. So resting energy expenditure or what would also be called the resting metabolic rate or basal metabolic rate, um, that's relatively stationary unless you incur some substantial losses in lean body mass. That's relatively static. Now, the active energy expenditure, we can further divide that up into two parts. So exercise energy expenditure and non-exercise energy expenditure. So what typically happens in the weight loss process that people misperceive as the slowing of metabolism is actually a drop in non-exercise energy expenditure. Or in in the nerd circles, we call it non-exercise activity thermogenesis or NEAT. So the decrease in NEAT is something that is insidious and subconscious and that happens behind people's backs and they just think, oh, my metabolism is slowing down. I'm doing the same workout and I'm obviously not, not losing tons of metabolically active lean tissue or something out of my metabolism is slowing down. But in reality, what happens across across most dieting studies is when when they actually measure non-exercise activity, a, a caloric expenditure decrease of two to three hundred calories happens in NEAT during weight loss studies. And that goes unaccounted for. So how do, how does the individual fight back against that? Is it just being conscious of that and then making sure you're you're moving your body more to make up for these subconscious changes to activity or non-exercise? Sure. Um, um, well, a, a preemptive thing would be to not diet as hard. <laughs> the harder you diet, the, the more severe the drops in non-exercise activity become. And this is apparent in physique uh, athletes at contest prep where when they're not training and doing their prescribed cardio, they're just laying around. They're not doing anything. Um, So, you know, prolonged dieting, severe dieting, all of that stuff. If if you can um, incorporate diet breaks, if if you happen to be dieting, incorporate a diet break once every four to eight weeks, take a week off of the diet. And with some people, it even works to take the fourth week off. How does that work from a a practical point of view? I mean, earlier you said there's kind of Mm -hmm. like two avenues someone could go down to to lose weight. Yeah. With regards to thinking about the energy or the food they're consuming. One is getting Mm -hmm. very, very specific and granular counting calories. Yeah. Okay. So you put your you know, your body needs two thousand five hundred calories a day Mm -hmm. and they they choose to go into what what deficit would you be recommending? Yeah. Okay. So two main populations here. So overweight and obese populations can do well with a more uh, severe caloric deficit. So the kind of the catch-all deficit that works for most populations is 10 to 20% below your what you feel is your maintenance. Uh, so in that example of 2,500 calories a day, they're cutting 250 to 500 calories. Yep. That's right. And that will that will apply to people who are normal weight to overweight. Okay, so the obese population, they can go 20 to 30, sometimes 40% below maintenance 
and still hang on to lean mass and do just fine. Uh, that's just the nature of how the body perceives energy crisis or not. <laughs> so there's much more of an energy crisis if you're doing an aggressive caloric deficit as a lean person than somebody with the stored energy to spare. So if I'm counting my calories, because mm -hmm. you, you mentioned before having a diet break. So every four to eight weeks coming out of that deficit and back up to assume to a maintenance mm -hmm. level of, of calories. Yeah. That's, I guess, quite quantifiable if yes. you're counting calories right. and easy right. to an easy thing to adjust. Let's say though that someone went down the other path. Mm -hmm. They weren't they weren't wanting to count calories to to diet and lose weight. They were going to uh, choose some form of dietary restriction. Maybe that's a, a low carbohydrate diet or a uh, high carbohydrate low fat diet focusing on diet quality, not having, you know, ultra processed foods optimizing protein, all the things that you said that inadvertently will create a, a deficit. How do, how do they adjust their diet to kind of come back to maintenance given they're not sort of counting the calories in the food that they're eating? You can either just simply, uh, well, you're not necessarily on quantitative program. So you can double the size of one of your meals in the day that you feel is the most painful one to be restricting. So it would either be, in most cases, breakfast, dinner, or lunch, or you can add a meal <laughs> to that day during a time point where you feel you're suffering most through, in, in the course of the day. And on these diet breaks, when you employ one of those types of models, there is an understanding that taking a diet break doesn't mean going full YOLO. So, you know, for, for, uh, for the folks who don't know, that means you only live once. Okay, so if you go full YOLO. Oreo, that, ice cream, all the two, things, burgers. Two-handed diet, seafood <laughs> diet, I see it, I eat it. That's not a diet break. A diet break is the understanding that you're going to basically return to non-YOLO maintenance levels, like pre dieting Right, levels. so it's a very considered, it's not a permission slip to go and just eat whatever <laughs> right. you want. Right, that's, that's correct.